Hi, I'm Paige Hansen, Chief of Cyber Safety Education at Norton LifeLock. Did you know we could all be carrying around mini tracking devices with us? That's right, this device right here. See, with the right settings enabled, we could be sharing our location in the photos that we take, the apps that we use, and even when we post online. But don't worry, don't be scared. Today's session is all about your location services, location settings, and then geolocation enabled into your device. So let's get started. I want to show you a photo that I took on vacation. Yes, that's right, vacation when we could actually go somewhere. But you see, I took this photo and I didn't tell a lot of people where I was going because that's the kind of industry that I'm in. I don't tell people that I'm, I'm leaving or things like that. But see, this photo here contained the EXIF data. So that's like the metadata of your where you take the, the photo. It records the latitude and longitude of where you've taken your photo. So on the positive side, you can go to your photo album. I can click the exact location of where I was and pick all the pictures that I took during that vacation. That's the positive side. But the creepy side is the fact that you can tell exactly where I've taken the photo. How you ask? Well, this photo that I sent to a couple of my friends, you can see if they were to save the photo, they could go to properties once they right click on that. Then in the details tab, you're going to see GPS where it says the latitude and longitude of where I've took and taken that photo. So I pop those coordinates into a search engine and voila. So I live in Arizona. This happened Everdon, Switzerland, halfway around the world. I am nowhere near my home, and that could potentially be risky if I'm sharing this, saving, um, sending it to friends, posting it online, and so on. Those risks are the fact that, yes, it can be shared on social media. What we recommend is if you are going somewhere, you're away from your home, that you post later, a later gram. This information can also be permanent and searchable. Imagine that uh, you post it somewhere and now every, it's tied to you forever, that where, the, where you've been and so on. It can be sold to third parties. All that data can be, imagine if you're taking pictures at home, where you work, um, where you go to school. All that information is very, very valuable to data aggregators or even fraudsters. And then there's the criminal element. In my example, you know, I'm not at home. And so somebody could break into my house knowing I wasn't at home. So what can we do about it? You can disable the service, and by disabling the service, you are turning that off so you will no longer record the latitude and longitude of where you've taken the photo. Or if you have to use it, you can use it selectively. Okay, well, I want to share a little bit about me. Here's my dog, Tyson the Boxer, and his Instagram. He posts occasionally where he's at, but we always do it after the fact. We were in Tempe Beach Park. Um, later that afternoon, once we were home, I did post the fact that he was in Tempe Beach Park really close to the Norton LifeLock offices. So that was fun to do, but I do make sure that I'm aware that I'm not posting when I'm away with him, just because he does have such a popular account. So let's get into how to turn it off, or at least where we can be aware. So first of all, everyone wants to get out, please get out your device. So I have an iPhone here, I'm going to go through the iPhone settings and actually all of the iPhones are manufactured by Apple, which means the settings that you see on the screen are going to be exactly what you're seeing on your device. Now, Android has multiple manufacturers, so I put up the shortcut. If you know how to get to your camera settings, please, by all means, please go to your camera settings. First for iPhone, you're going to click on your settings and you're going to scroll down to the privacy tab. Next uh, for Android, make sure you're getting to your camera settings. The shortcut listed here is in the upper right hand corner is the settings tab of your photos. So open up your photos in the upper right hand corner, you might see the settings tab. For iPhone, you're going to click on location services. Next for iPhone, you're going to see all of the apps that may use your location. This is a great exercise later is to go in and see all of the apps that might be using your location and decide whether or not that's privacy setting that you still want to do. For Android, you're going to look for something called location tags. 
Next, you're going to see for the iPhone settings is never while using app. And there's a new feature called Ask Me Next Time. So you can decide right here for Android as well. Assess your risk. If you don't want your location in, embedded into your photos that you're taking, then go ahead and turn that off. If you like that feature, if you want to click on the map of, for instance, me, I click on Europe and I see all those photos, then you would keep it on. But you know exactly where it is now. I also want to talk to you a little bit about significant locations. I'm going to first go over the directions for iPhone and then I'll do Android. Now, significant locations allow your iPhone to learn places and your, your Android devices to learn places significant to you in order to provide useful location information. What does that mean? If you've ever gotten into your vehicle and it says you will be going to work, it'll take you 15 minutes and you never programmed it into your device, that is a significant location. So learning your daily habits, the maps, calendars, photos, to know where you like to go, where you've been and so on, and then give you that useful information. Now to look into this, to see if it's enabled on your device, I want you to go down to system services. Now, if you've backed out of everything completely, you're gonna go back to settings. You're gonna go down to privacy, you're gonna click location services, just like we did in the last exercise, but you're gonna scroll all the way down to your apps, all the way past your apps to something called system services. You're gonna see about halfway down something called significant locations. You will have to authenticate yourself in, whether it's face ID, your thumbprint, or putting in a passcode, you do need to authenticate yourself to get this data. Now, if yours is turned off, you're not gonna see much, but for those of you that have turned it on, this is what it looks like, but this is going to be into what like relative to you. So um, here's an example. One of my colleagues took a screenshot of her significant location. She had it on. You can see that she, um, the home, it recognized where her home was, her work and so on. It says when she went, how long she was there and so on. So you have the chance now you can turn that off. Same for our friends on Android. So what you're looking for here is your Google location history. There's two different options and ways to get there, but you're searching for your Google location history, and then you're either going to delete that location history or turn it off. Both of them will stop tracking. And of course, you're going to get the questions, are you sure we're not going to be able to provide you useful information? You click yes, yes, and so on. If you um, want any more information on this, this is just um, another really good exercise to do for all of your apps. I hope you found this helpful today looking at our geolocation and our location services today. Uh, we hope you have a cyber safe day. Bye-bye.